You know, God is an amazing God. And like I said, I love the Lord, and y'all should love the Lord too as well. A lot of people don't believe in God, but God is real. It's no lie. God is real. And uh, I'm going to continue to keep speaking. You know, it just said the society, the world that we are living in, you know, all this hate going on, people hating other people because of the skin color. Yeah, I'm speaking today, y'all. This your girl. Hey, how y'all doing? I hope everybody's well. I hope everything is all good with y'all. I hope y'all are staying in the house, uh, self-quarantine. You know, if you got to go out, go out. But like I said, they said they opening up these business places back. But y'all better be careful with that. Just be safe. Because we don't know. Uh, it could be something to that, but I'm still going to wear a mask. I'm not going to fall for that. That's coronavirus still out there, so don't get tricked. You know, y'all keep your eyes open. You keep your eyes open on everything. And like I said, I'm going to be coming back with more videos. And uh, my house is clean and everything, but when I open up my door, you know, I have to go outside sometimes and catch some air. I still want to be safe because you don't know if the corona is in the air. I know it's been cold lately. We've been having cold weather in the month of May. It don't supposed to be cold like that in the month of May. Unless we get in that late winter uh, weather. Winter came in December. It's supposed to left in March. It's springtime. Spring weather came in from March. And it's supposed to end in June. Then summer come in from June. September the 21st. That's when summer ends. But we having cold weather in the month of, of May. So that's that coronavirus stuff going on. It's supposed to be a little warmer than what it is now. It's been real cold outside. This is the second video, y'all. So like I said, I hope y'all get the message and take heed to what I'm saying. All this hate out here, if you got hate, stop. Learn to love. Get along with one another. Like I said, if you hate your, if you hate your skin color, and if that's the way you was raised up and born, anyone you should be holding hate is it's, it's your family, the one that raised you up to be like that. But you can still love them, but don't never go out here and take your hate out on other people that didn't even hurt you. Because that's what's going on with a lot of these people. They hold hate because they was raised up to, 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 uh, to hate people because of the way their parents raised them. It starts from the home, and that's real. If your parent got you hating people uh, because they was raised up by their parents, or uh, it's generation after generation, then get away from them. Maybe you need to change your environment, uh, you change your life, and then, you know, be, uh, be uh, a leader. Don't be a follower, because there's a lot of people follower. It's a lot of followers out there. You got to be your own lead. You got to lead your own life, especially if you're grown and, and if you're still staying at home with your parents. Then you got to make up your mind what you wants to do. You got to make that decision for yourself. You can't just have your parents having you you grown, living in your house. You still buying by the rules or you're still there. It's time to get out. If you're over 18 and you're still living at home with your parents, that's a problem. A uh, grown man or a grown woman, it, 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 can go, it can go for anybody. And uh, you got to be a leader of your own. You can't let nobody continue to tell you how to live your life, especially if you're a grown woman, a grown man, you living in somebody how which I understand is all about respect, but you don't have to do what someone tell you to do. You don't have to do what people want you to be in life. If somebody wants you to be hatred, hateful, then you make that decision because you're messing up by being hate, having hate in your heart, because they don't like uh, other other races. But like I said, black is a beautiful thing. I love being black. I love me. I love my people. I love people's period. I'm not finna hold hate in my heart, and I see somebody jogging down the street. And I decide I want to hurt them because I don't like the skin color. Get out of here. That's a devil. 
The devil's a liar. Satan and devil only do dirt. God do not allow dirt like that. And what these guys did to, I, I can't, I can't even even call them guys. I can call them animals because that was abnormal. You know, to kill this man because of his skin color. He was black. He was human, just like they was. And by they do it, what they did, they got to remember he will hunt them for the rest of their life. You know, they can run, but they can't hide. He going to always be there. His his spirit going to follow them throughout their life. So, like I said, they sitting in jail. Um, I don't know how that case going to turn out to be. But God know, even if they walk, they still got to watch out because a lot of people know what they've done. It's all over the world. It's worldwide. It's social media worldwide. But uh, like I said, I can't judge them, but the only thing I can tell you, it was dirty, vindictive, evil. It was horrible. Horrible tragedy, what they did. Uh, racism, racist, hate, hate crime. That was a hate crime. And, and like I said, I'm through with it. Like I said, I'm going to talk about something there because it, it really bothers me to know that this man's birthday was today. Taurus the Bull. And may his soul rest peacefully. And um, like I told him in spirit, uh, they got the guys that murder you, took your life for no apparent reason. But you are there with, with Father God and others. My father is there in heaven. My grandma, a lot of my kid folks is in heaven. And I'm sorry that it happened to this young man. And uh, like I said, we all just got to pray because we don't never know. We get up every morning. You thank God that you made it through another day because without God, we would not be here. God will keep us alive each and every day. He the one wake us up every day. A lot of people don't know that, but if you don't know it, you know it now. He keep us alive each and every day. He can take us anytime he want. But like I said, when you if you living on earth and God allow you to be here every day, praise God every morning as you wake up. Because ain't no day promised. Tomorrow ain't promised. We are here living on earth because of God. It's all because of him. It's in his hand. God is power over all of us. God is our armor. He is our shield. He who wakes us up each and every day. As I speak right now, thank you, Lord, for waking me up this morning, because without you, this would not be possible. It's all in your hands, Father God. Amen. So hope that y'all take some uh, some messages down, what I'm saying. Um, y'all remember this, what I'm saying. Like I said, if you got hate, if you're on social media and you don't like blacks, then learn to love blacks. And if and if you got blacks on here that hate whites, don't hold hate in your heart. Just give it to God. You can always remember what people do, but you never forget. Could they say two wrong don't make a right? But a lot of people always say two wrong do make a right. Two, two, two wrong don't make a right. Justice just need to be served. And everything going to be all right. But us as black people, black lives does matter. So don't never let nobody knock you and tell you that we don't matter because we matter. Black lives does matter. What they say, white lives matter? Like I said, all lives matter. But when you're going out here doing all this hate crime because of skin color, that's within their self. They got hate within their own heart Cause because they never was taught to, to love people. They were never taught that way as they was growing up. They was taught to hate, have hate in their heart. But that ain't the way you do it. So whoever put the hate there, give it to God. Maybe God will open up to you. You got to go to God and let God know everything. It doesn't matter who you are. We ain't none of us special. We just all human on earth and living in life because of God. If God wants to take us, he can take us any time of day that he wants to. God is the power. Not the coronavirus, not all this hate crime these people doing out here. God is power. He is over all of us. 
Ain't no one special. I'm not special. I'm just human. Just a beautiful black woman living on earth. And I thank God that I'm here. And y'all should do the same. And stop all this bickering, arguing, going against one another, hating women. Women hate women. Women talk about women's every day. Stop all the hate and learn to love one another. Learn to love your own color. Stop worrying about what another woman got that you don't have. And just thank God that what you have, be appreciated what you have. It's not about what the other person got and what you don't have. I thank God that I got two legs. I got two hands to write, hold my phone. I thank God for my mouth that I can speak. Thank God for my hands for me to cook every day. Because without God, I wouldn't be here. And that's an amen, and I praise the Father God every day. So stop all the hate. Because it starts from the, it starts from within you. If somebody look better than you, then deal with it. Don't worry about it. Because they look better than you don't mean they are you. So just think about the way you are, who you are, how you look. And don't worry about what the next person look like, what the next person working with, what they doing. Because if they can do it, you can do it. If you want to be YouTube, pick up a phone, get on social media, do your thing. And stop hating on somebody else doing big and better when you can do the same. And that's real. I'm telling this to all the ladies and men and whoever on social media listening. This is coming from a real queen. Queen of Atlanta. I'm just keeping it real. I'm a skater too as well. An old school ATL roller skater. I know. I've been in them streets. Them streets ain't nothing to play with. I love life. I love to mentor. I love to speak on topics. I love to help people. Even if you got hate, I can turn that hate into a smile. Amen. God is grace and mercy. And what are you? I hope y'all learned some sense with this message that I'm putting out here. I want you to like this video, comment down below. Subscribe to my channel, my page. And you can share the video. You can share it. I would love for you guys to share this video. Share it all over. I'm not afraid to speak my mind, to speak what I want to say. It's all about being who you are. I don't hide. I don't hide behind closed doors. I keep it real because my father raised me. He raised me to the woman that I am today. Thank God. Thank you, Father, who is in heaven. Think about you every day. So I hope y'all listening in and I hope y'all taking heed to this message this is a 14 minute a long message that I'm putting on here this is my second video so this your girl y'all know who this is here. so like I said if you like this video you know what you gotta do and, and do me a favor make sure y'all keep the mask keep your hands clean make sure you quarantine your home self quarantine your place if you ain't got to go out there, though, stay home. Come and cook with me. Stay home. You're more safe at home than being out there. And if you're out there for, like, two or three hours, make sure you got a mask. If you don't have to go out that door, then stay home and do what you need to do. Cook, make a social media video or whatever you need to do, and get your life right. Get all the hate out of your heart. Talk about something positive for a chance. I'm speaking to the black women, all women all over the world. I'm speaking to the minions. If you got hate, learn to love. Stop the hate. Stop the violence. And get God in your life. Because like I said, it's never too late to get God. And you're going you gonna to say, oh, I remember I listened to that one with video. One day you're going to thank me later. I'm not going to tell you nothing. That my mama didn't tell me. It's all real over here. All love. I love all my colors. No matter who you are. Even if you got hate. I still love you. 
But um, like I said, until then, y'all stay safe. Y'all stay humble. I always remember to keep the most high first, foremost, and that's God. Until then, peace. I'm out. Love you guys. That's a YouTuber for you.